Welcome back to Path of Exile. In the last episode, we entered the crematorium, found Tolman, or rather, what was left of him. And now we have the keys from Clarissa to enter the sewers and continue on with Act 3. Hopefully we're going to earn some ascendancy points in this episode. We only need two more trials. Before we're ready. Still using Contagion and Essence Drain for now. We do have Bane though. And we're gonna swap to that as soon as we can. Okay, there's an Exile here. I do not want that ghost. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Just what I was afraid of. Uh, Augustina Solaria. I was expecting her to put in more of a fight, to be honest, but that suits me just fine. Let me pick up the orb of fusing and get out of here. No, it's not here, but where is the entrance to the sewers? There should be a sewer grate, yeah. Let's enter here. We need to find the platinum busts as we pass through the area. There's a waypoint as well. And there are beasts inside. Too much clutter. Oh, never mind. We cannot. A mm -hmm. Wasn't planning on going back to town, but might as well. You're right. That amulet is not really good. There's a great helmet. Uh, honestly, it's not that great. The boots are also pretty good. We have life and resistances. And since we can craft movement speed, it's probably a good idea to do just that. Good luck. So let's go to our hideout really quick. And we're gonna place these boots. 10 to 14% increased movement speed. 13. Yeah, that's better than what we have. And we're going to swap to this padded vest. Uh, but not before we change the colors. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm not going to be needing that vest anytime soon. Yes. 
Oh, uh, there's some Chaos Damage Multiplier ones. I'm gonna buy this one. And we're also going to buy the Despair Curse and Temporal Chains. Uh, how about Malevolence? Yeah, we can buy Malevolence. Bye. Let's use the essence. That was uh, surprisingly good. There's even room for a third resist craft. Okay, the curse can replace essence drain. We're gonna remove that and put Bane on left click. No, sorry, right click. And we can also get rid of Contagion since we're not using it anymore. Step the notion. Yeah, we're good. How you doing? Good luck, dear. Okay, just how tanky is this bizarre bird? Ready, exile! It is time to hunt! Okay, it's not that bad actually. Let's not stand in the stampede. And it's captured. Lots of lightning and chaos damage here. Uh, how about my levelings? Can we actually use it? Yes, we can. Not a lot of mana left, but we're just gonna have to make do. There's some beasts over there. Wait a minute, this can't be the right way. The exit we're looking for is usually past the waypoint and to the left. Strong box, we can open that. And with that, Einhar is out. Off to scout the next area. Alright, this is the marketplace. I don't remember much about this area. Can't really use the crucible for it since we don't have any good weapons. Mm -hmm. 
Mars use the defaced. I'm pretty sure we don't need to engage that. The catacombs. We're gonna enter here. And hopefully find one of these trials of ascendancy. I'm I'm one hundred percent sure there's something here. That's a wrong way. Oh, these are the spinning metallic. Not really sure what to call them. Discs. These traps do a lot of damage. When I'm ready and not before. So there's a new recipe for us. An emperor must bear two blades. Hope in the left hand, surety in the right. Is there anything interesting here? Let's check out the area really fast and loop around towards the entrance. Loop back towards the entrance. There's a strong box. Maybe we get some jewels. Maybe we won't. There's an ornate chest, and we get. Wait, what is that again? The Decanter Spiritus. Oh, really? Yeah, we found it, but what are we supposed to do with it? I don't remember these quests at all. No, oh, just some uh, flavor text by Malachi. Clutter. We'll get rid of the vest. And we're gonna head into the battlefront. Might as well click uh, growth and decay here. So area level is 27, we are level 28. We're slightly ahead. That's a good thing. And we get the ribbon spool. This will be useful when we encounter the gem liquid. Now, though, we're diving into the docks.
Yes, that is actually Fairgraves. We'll talk to him in, in just a minute. Let me level up the gems. We can turn the in the bus. The could hide his spoils from Chitters, but not from us, eh? I knew you was the exile for the job. I'm sure you've been more than compensated already from Victorio's stockpiles, but he's a little extra. Care of something I found under a dead man's bed. Why? Just because I like you. And we get a book of skill. We have Hargan to thank for. I'm going to identify the shield, actually. Yeah, that was a good call. Plus one to fire skill gems. We can definitely use this. Good luck to you. Come over here. I forgot to check the inventory. I don't think much has updated. Don't do anything I would. So let's just move on. We'll go back at the, back to the docks. And now that's a familiar face. Now there's a familiar face. Yep. Before you say anything, yes, I did try to kill you. Inexcusable. I allowed pragmatism to overcome honor in a moment of desperation. Please accept my deepest apologies. What do you say? Can the two of us make a fresh start? Marvelous. <laughs> Now, as you've clearly noticed, the All Flame has given me another respite from oblivion. Alas, it's a partial successor. I am neither man nor spirit, living nor dead. A state that comes with some rather frustrating restrictions. I know we've only just been reacquainted, but to, to put no finer point on it, I need your help. Interested, are we? Oh, splendid! In return, I have a gift or two that I may bestow upon you with a click of my translucent fingers. All you need do is furnish me with a crystal decanter and a juicy piece of fruit. Two humble items that remain agonizingly out of reach for a man in my peculiar situation. Will you look at that? The decanter spiritus. As exquisite today as when I found it all those years ago. <laughs> you may fault the man, but you can't fault his craftsmanship. So the other item we need, apparently, is Chiris's blue. Did that belong to Emperor Chiris? Emperor Chiris was stabbed in the posterior by his own Lord Mayor on the eve of the Purity Rebellion. Chiris's grieving gemlings buried him in the Imperial Gardens, and a plum tree was planted upon his resting place, so that his mourners might taste of his glory for years to come. I found that tree, and one of my men tasted its fruit. I've never seen so much agony crammed into such a brief moment. This uh, may seem a peculiar request, but please bring me one of Chittus's plums. All right, there's another task for us. So the body of the Emperor was used as fertilizer. Not sure what to make of that. We'll get a plum though. Yeah, this uh, supply container 
contains the fermentic sulfide. And this is the second item we need for the gem liquid. So, now to reach the Gemling Quinn, we need to go back to the battlefront, which is right here. And we have to find the temple. I'd love to see the insides of this spell. I can't abide housework. Okay, now we're in a safe zone. Let me spend these uh, skill points. I know some of you are practically shouting at your screen right now. Now, do we need to get more life? We can select one of the masteries. Uh, we can get some mana. Yeah, you know what, why not? We'll pick this one. Yes, we do end up skipping a lot of the League uh, events here with the Crucible Forges, but to tell you the truth, I don't have a weapon I want to use and unlock a tree. So we don't have much use for them. They don't seem to be offering much else. When I'm ready and not before. At least according to our experience so far. Okay, this is Diala. This is a Gemling Queen. I need to check the Eternal Laboratory because there's a recipe here. This is fire damage, the first rank of crafts. You are not a cockroach. Strange. Inundated with cockroaches, I am. Black ones, four limbs, nasty, spiky things. Are you spiky? If so, my ribbons will pluck your spines. Malachi likes spines. Like to my spine. Pretty spine. Bejeweled and bountiful. Enough to make an empire weep. Do you weep, not a cockroach? I do. Tears are infinite. Why, on this very day, I found a new reason to cry. What is that you have? Not a cockroach? 
my ribbons fall. Those black ones wanted them, my ribbons. They wanted to wrap the city in black ribbons. Now they are my ribbons forevermore. Forevermore. I hate forever. I could tear happy ever after from Bard's bleeding tongues. You're still here, not a cockroach. Oh, gratitude, yes. I should give you a token. Token? What token? This? Is this to your liking? Yeah, we're gonna select one of these amulets. I'm going to try the strength one. The cockroaches will come again. They want the twist. That cockroach emperor. The other bugs shout his name. Ravisius. Cross the river, squash the emperor cockroach in his nest. The bridge. It is barricaded. That spawns a tricky question. Questions. Questions. I asked too many questions. Chit has told me so. I asked where it all went. Our feculence. He made them show me. Under the river. The sewers from this side to that. Filthy, fetid tunnels like a rower's cloaca. A black place. Crawling with the undying. Once beautiful and arrogant gemlings. Now the foul waste of the Empire. Fitting, isn't it? Apt. Apt. I like you, not a cockroach. I like that you listen. It would annoy me if the undying murdered you. Dormitic sulfite. That's what you need. You have some already. You are a resourceful umbug now, aren't you? Give it to me. I was all eyes and ears when Malachi worked. I will make something of your thormetic sulfite. I will forge an infernal talc that will bring the most furious of light to the undying darkness. A dash of arcanity, a pinch of insanity, a whisper of profanity, and the infernal talc is now ready. And we're gonna pick up the quest reward. Believe me. This is what we need to unlock the path in the sewers. It was blocked previously. And that's it. So we might as well identify this amulet. There's life, there's stats, and cast speed. That's good. We do lose a bit of fire resistance. I'm going to keep the other amulet just in case. There's a recipe for physical damage. Not very useful on this character. Not before. I shall purify you in flame, horror of nightmare. Yeah, the general is not exactly fond of us. I'm going to equip this ruby ring for now. We need all the fire resistance we can get. And this is a Chaos Orb. That's one of the more important currency items. Excuse me, currency items. We're gonna be needing a lot of those. I no longer need fear. Destiny is seen to that. They're not very common, but there is a recipe for, uh, 
for Chaos Orbs, which we're going to be using. There's coal. We will spend absolutely no time fighting them. Okay, before we progress into the Lunaris Temple and deal with another familiar face at the end, I want to clean up the inventory a bit. Okay, these gloves have a bit of cold resistance, there's mana. We can craft another resist on them. Let me waste some currency here. Okay, that uh, went to four sockets really fast. And about two of them, that's good. We can replace these sockets, uh, these gloves with the uh, two blue sockets. Okay, how about the mask? There's a prefix, there are suffixes. We get lightning resistance. I'm not sure how useful that will be. No, we seem to be doing fine. And we even gain some life in the process. You get him, boy. I'm just going to sell everything. Stay out of the shadows, they boy. You are the true spirit of the Makoru, the shark. Not the cowardly beast that sinks its teeth into the lonely swimmer. You strike the Waikoama, the canoe, spilling a feast of men into the water. Hunters turned hunted that you dine on at your pleasure. So another set of skills, these are available at level 28, we are level 30, but that's fine. Uh, what do we have available here? Flame Blast, Cascade, there's Cremation. I think the Solaran skill is the only one we can use. Be well. We'll place it on the alternative weapon slot for now. And yes, I just uh, throw away, threw away all these skills. We're not gonna have much use for them. You either master nightmare or it masters you. To be honest, I'm not sure why I even kept them in this first place. That way. When I'm ready, and not before.
You can probably tell by the piles of corpses and the rivers of blood. Uh, someone got a bit carried away here. Carried away with her, uh, let's say, experiments. Resistance is our fine. Piety deals all types of elemental damage in this version of the fight. very fond of so we grab the recipe and we're gonna teleport back wherever he is I'm sure Tolman knows what you've done I know you didn't do it for him or for me it doesn't matter piety's reign of cruelty is over thank you so what do we have available here? Um, so far, nothing I want to spend money on. Watch yourself. We'll speak to Grigor. I'm pretty sure there's a quest. Yeah, this is Piety's pets. The Gemling Queen? She's impossible. How did she survive? Why is she not one of the undying? No. No, these questions can wait. There's a more pressing one. Is she safe from the Ebony Legion? You've been busy. With the spool back where it belongs, the Lugans should be able to keep the Ebony Legion at bay. You've both seen what they can do to a man. Whether you were saving your own skin or thinking of others, it matters little to me. You succeeded where I did not. You have stood in the presence of the Gemling Queen. I can only hope to meet her in my nightmares. Piety dies amongst her abominations, her warped dream taunting her, maddeningly out of reach. As a poet, I'm fond of that creed of justice. Here, the executioner needs recompense. So we're gonna grab another skill. Unfortunately, Piety was simply a puppet of a greater force. You've cut the strings, but the master remains. Dominus. That key you've picked up, I heard the blackguards talk of it. It's the one key to the scepter of God on the northern edge of the blackguard encampment. Only Piety was permitted to carry it. Dominus accessed his laboratory at the summit of the tower via a pulley system rigged to the outside wall. That way will be barred to you. And I heard of no one, not even piety, going in or coming out of the lower levels. Go with care, exile. I can't imagine what's inside that tower if even piety and Dominus feared to tread its steps. Tread carefully, Exile. 
Piety's off to meet the maker, is she? I'd love to be a fly on the wall of that little chat. Yep, Piety is finally <clears throat> taken care of. Bring me back something nice, eh? I hope so, at least. We'll accept the rewards and just get out of there. I chose Hell on the passive skill tree because we seem to be doing okay on damage. When I'm ready and not before. This is the entrance to the library. Uh, we actually have to find our way to the archives. I'm going to open a portal though. And we're going to use a portal to travel back because that area has one of the waypoints, but we did not discover it. Okay, I'm going to go back. There's quite a few items to discover here in the Imperial Gardens. Okay, this is the trial. Just be careful not to get hit by too many of these darts. An emperor must know precisely where he stands. And our next stop is probably the tree. Where we can get the cheetah's bloom. I'm ready and not before. There's a life last for us. I might be going the wrong way. Not familiar with these layouts. Oh no, thank God. Look. 
Look at the sheen on that plum. Is it not the most delectable fruit that you've ever seen? No? Perhaps the gloss of hope is for my eyes only. Wondrous! Nothing bonds two souls more soundly than murder. For that reason alone, I knew you could be relied upon. Now, my little amateur vintner in me, with the squeeze of the plum life so into the decanter. Oh my! Look how it transmutes the juice so swiftly from material to spectral. Epics. And what a moment. Imminent death never smelled so sweet. I believe I shall call this fine concoction the Imperial Vaticab. Now, before I get too carried away, there's the small matter of your recompense. And yes, a recompense is exactly why we went through all this. We have a choice of rings. I'm going to check the coral ring now. A toast to swift endings and promising new beginnings. Oh, and you might want to avert your gaze once I have quaffed this style of food. I doubt that my return to solidarity will be a pretty one. Right, as I used to say in the love days of Travis, awesome thought girls! Unusual sensation. I... Oh dear. Something is amiss. The whole frame. It's. No. No, no, no. It's gone out. What am I. And that's another encounter with Captain Fair Graves. Okay, we're going back to the Imperial uh, Gardens. We need to find a waypoint. I'm going to try to find the main path. Oh, never mind, this is the waypoint. We're actually in a good spot right now. And more importantly, we have all the trials of ascendancy. You stand before the gates of the Lord's Labyrinth. Within these walls, the Lady of Justice doth preside. She shall weigh your mind in one hand, your heart in the other. Should she find you wanting, death shall be your sentence. Should she find you worthy, you will be given the loyalty and love of an empire. The Lord's Labyrinth awaits you. Choose wisely, strike quickly, trust completely, and may you find the ending that you deserve. And that was another little introduction. We're gonna hold off from entering the labyrinth for now. Quite a few bosses to kill before that. And we don't really need anything else in town. Uh, the stas is doing okay. I might need to organize it a bit. Come over here. I can sell that ring. Stay out of the shadows. 
So I believe it's a good place to end the episode. We have a couple of bosses coming up. There's the Labyrinth, of course. We're going to finally earn the Ascendancy points. And uh, grab the Ascendancy class that we need. It's an Occultist, by the way. It has some good interaction with Chaos Damage and Curses. But as for now, I'm just uh, going to say I hope you enjoyed the episode so far. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.